Okay. Yeah, good. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Kieran, is it a, a, a feeling it was a, you know, at the end or coming to the end of a, a really important spell for the team? Yeah, um, obviously we've just come off the back of a, a tough week. Uh, there was a lot of travelling and obviously the, the three away games and um, we knew it was going to be a, each game was going to be tough in its own way and um, I think before the before them three games we would have took you know, seven points so yeah on the back of that we're, we're pretty happy and we're looking forward to the you know the remaining fixtures of the season but we're obviously going to concentrate on the, the, the game and that we got obviously coming up next which is fun. I guess you've not done much training over the last couple of weeks is it just a, a case of getting yourself ready for the next one? Yeah um, obviously there's been so the, the training that we have been doing they've, they've obviously took the, the games into consideration and, and who's played what and Whoever's needed to train and do a little bit more has done that, and lads that have obviously played in the games have been looked after a little bit. And um, but we've still been out there on the pitch, and we've still been, um, you know, like w walking through what, what we need to do and stuff like that. So um, yeah, we, before each game, we've been we've been fully focused and fully aware of what we need to do. So we've been prepared. Yeah. Everyone said how important those three away games were, but Fulham, I suppose you can't forget they beat you in the opening day of the season. Yeah really good football side as well and because it's at home does that represent its own challenge? Um, yeah well, I think we know that I'll see how good Fulham are uh, they're just they're just outside you know the playoff spots at the minute and they're obviously fighting to, to get in there so um, we know we're, it's going to be a tough game they're a good good football inside they like to move the ball well and um, we've obviously worked on it in training and um, you yeah, we just want to go out there and put, put a good performance in and and hopefully come off the pitch with the three points. You've been excellent away from home throughout the campaign. Is it frustrating you guys as players a little bit the points that have been dropped at St James's Park? Yeah, I think in games, in some of the games, we've we've, we've felt that we we should have done better ourselves out there, and um, you know to to maybe hang on and get the win when when we've we've dropped a couple of points. But um, no, that's that's football. Um, we just want to try and try and improve and, and take the confidence from the. You know, the, from the last game and um, you know the last week we've had, and, and put that into a performance at home, and, and like I said, hopefully come off for the win. A year in the job tomorrow for for Rafa Benitez. What is the the biggest thing you've learnt from him since you, you arrived here and worked under him? Um, I've learnt quite a bit, to be fair. It's um, you know it's, it's been a total change for me. Um, you know, he's a he's a real man manager and, and wants to get involved and wants you to learn and. He wants to wants to teach you and improve you as a player, um, and obviously by doing that, that improves the team. And um, you know we've worked on defensive shape and you know attacking, positional, just literally everything you can think of. We've 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 worked on and um, it's something I've probably not had uh, in my career. So. Um, yeah, I feel like I'm, I'm learning so much and hopefully I can keep doing that. So despite the fact that you've dropped down a level to the Championship, mm. do, you, do you feel as though under Benitez you, you, you have improved? Yeah, I feel, feel, feel like I have, yeah. Um, I feel like I've learned, learned more about the game. Um, and uh, yeah, like I said, the, I'm really enjoying it at the minute. And um, you know, it's, just, it's, it's good to, to get that winning feeling and have that winning feeling and you know, the confidence that it, it brings. Um, hopefully shows on the pitch and um, yeah, like I said, hopefully we can just keep playing the way we are and um, take each game as it comes and, and go from there. Last one from me, Alex Oxley chamberlain has said that um, at Arsenal they need to change the music in the dressing room to try and change the form. <laughs> um, we're asking everyone we speak to today, it's not just you, yeah. who's in charge of the music in the, uh, the Newcastle dressing room? Uh, and what do you listen to? It's a bit of a mix to be fair, I think Darlow before games usually usually puts on a, on a mix. Um, I don't know, he gets a mix off SoundCloud or MixCloud and, and puts whatever he puts on. But yeah, no, it's, whatever it is, we're happy with because we're, we're doing all right. So um, yeah, uh, DeAndre likes to, to, to get involved every now and then and, and throw his music on. But I think that can be a bit, mu a bit much for some boys. But um, yeah, no, we're all happy with Darlow's choice of music, I think. And uh, yeah, he, we're happy for him to keep 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 going with it. So you don't put on your own headphones and, and no, no, I don't. No, no. I, I think a couple of the boys do do that. I think they try and get in the get in their own zone or whatever they used to. But no, I just like to like to listen to whatever's on there and um, 
yeah, like I said, it's uh, it's obviously working for us. So um, I don't think the coaches are happy with it, but <laughs> no, we're happy with it. So That's it. good. So, what sort of environment has Rafa created for you as players here? It's a real positive, positive place. Um, you know, we're all like I think I think on the training pitch and obviously on on match days. At, I think confidence out there um, obviously comes from the results we're getting and and the performances we've been putting in. So uh, around the place, everyone's positive and um, he drills in not to not to get too complacent. I think that's that's the key really, um, which I don't think none of the lads do ever because we I think we've got a good bunch of lads here. Um, you know, no one no one gets too far in front and. Um, I think that's massive, really. You know, we just want to take each game as it comes and uh, keep working hard on the training pitch and, and keep improving. And the Fulham game could be a tricky game. Mm. They're, they're a team in form. Yeah, they are. Yeah, um, like I said earlier, they're, they're just outside the playoff spots, and um, they know by picking up three points would be massive for them. So um, we have to just. I think we know. We obviously know what, how good they are, but I think if we concentrate on ourselves and um, and you know worry about ourselves on, on the pitch, hopefully that will be alright as long as we put the work in. So can you explain why the, the, the form is so good away and so iffy at home? Um, it's hard to explain to be honest, uh, I don't know. Um, I think maybe I think that maybe there's more pressure on us when we're playing at home. Um, probably feel like we have to go out there and, and try and force, force it to try and get a result. Um, but like I said, we, we, when we go out there, we, we just try and obviously do our best, work hard as hard as we can, and and hopefully get the right result. But um, yeah, the away form's obviously been fantastic this season, and hopefully we can take you know the the last week into the game now at the, at the weekend, and and we'll be all right. Thank you. I suppose there's a danger, Kieran, that given the three games that you've just had and all that was stacked against in those games, you know. Yeah. There's always a tendency, isn't it, that you might just take foot off the gas a bit. Has, has Rafa said anything about that? Um, no, well, he's, he's actually said not to take the foot off the gas at all. Um, you know, we can't can't get complacent and and you know not be be, be not focused. We need to, we need to stay focused and and concentrate on the games and um, yeah, even in training, he's been he's been making sure that we know that. And uh, yeah, like I said earlier, we've got a good team spirit here and. We all want to do well, and um, we obviously know there's there's not many games left to play in the season now. We're, you know we're on the on a home straight, but we need to obviously concentrate on each game as it comes, and and uh, hopefully we'll start by doing that tomorrow. Yeah, I, I just wondered though when you feel like you've had almost three three cup finals like mm. you know, is there not a natural tendency to you know sort of maybe it's just let the concentration slip a fraction? You know. Um, no, well we obviously it, it was a tough week, but we know ourselves that. If we don't get a good result tomorrow, that then the results would have meant nothing. So, um, and we don't want that to happen at all. We want to keep the run going and keep keep our form. And um, yeah, like I said, the gaffer's been installing in, in in us all season not to get complacent. And you know, whether we've won, lost, or drew, it's right. We'll forget about that result now and, and quickly quickly move on. And um, you know, it's been working all right so far. So we just want to keep it going. And just finally for me. Has you know the, the time that you've had since you came from Villa? Has it all panned out exactly as you, you thought it would, Kieran? Has it been what uh, you expected? <laughs> yeah, I think it's hard to predict. You know, at the start of the season, it's it's a tough one. But um, yeah, obviously, we're in the we're in the right place. Where, you know, where I, where I would have wanted it to be at this stage of the season. And um, yeah, like I said, I'm very happy with, with how things have gone. Um, you know, it's, it's going to be a tough, tough running now, and um, hopefully by the end of the season, we're still in the same spot, and you know then I'll be happy. Has, has it gone the way you expected? You know what I mean? Did, you must um, have had a sort of, I mean, because you took a quite a leap of faith, didn't you, coming out and dropping down a division? So has it all gone according to plan? Uh, I think, think at the minute, yeah. Um, if, but obviously, there's nothing, nothing done yet. It's. Uh, like I said, there's a 10, 11 games to go still, and um, we'll just concentrate on each game as it comes. And, and hopefully, like I said, if, if you ask me this again and at the end of the season, I'll be a happy man. Thanks, guys. So, Thank, you. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Right.